Detronus here. Today I'm talking about the best weapons in Fallout 4. And by best weapons, I don't necessarily mean damage or raw statistics, because those can change. As your perks increase, you can mod weapons to become better. Rather, I'm talking about those bonus affixes that become more valuable, actually increase in their efficiency the longer you play. So I have three weapons here, three affixes that I want to focus on. The first one is 50% more damage to humans. Now all the footage you see here is on survival mode. Just to show you how effective these affixes can be, as you level up and get stronger and get more perks that increase the damage of these weapons that have this particular affix on it, the affix itself gets more effective. Also, the majority of the enemies you will fight in this game are in fact humans, so this affix is definitely one of the best in the game. Now this next affix is fantastic on melee weapons. It's increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. When you are in melee range, you want to hit as hard and as fast as you can. And this affix synchronizes itself to that playstyle. You do more damage, significantly more damage, as you continually to bash on that opponent. The game's actually very vague on how much damage it actually is. By judging just off the health pulse, it seems to be about 10% increase after every hit. And I'm not sure if it's multiplicative or additive. And also if the text is any indication, it seems to imply that this damage stacks. So the higher the health pool the monster is, the longer the fight, the longer the fight, the more damage you'll be putting out. Now let's talk about the best affix I have ever seen in the game so far or read about. It's 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. The reason why this affix is so good is it because it doesn't matter the difficulty, the level of the monster, whether they're legendary or not, the legs will cripple if you keep shooting. And uh, like any of these affixes, they can appear on multiple uh, different types of weapons. Um, but this one is very nice on fast shooting weapons because that 20% chance applies constantly. The monster type is irrelevant. How much higher they are in level than you is irrelevant. Whether or not they are legendary or not is irrelevant. Simply shoot at their legs, advance or not, it does not matter. They will be on the ground, unable to hit you, even if you're close, just wallowing in misery. You see here, I'm fighting a brutal giant who's a lot higher than me in level. Uh, he's a named giant as well, and it's also on survival. He has not touched me at all. I just started shooting his legs with the pistol. It doesn't matter the damage you do. You cripple them on the ground. They're stationary. They cannot hurt you. It's very easy to then pull out a weapon that does do damage and just shoot him in the head constantly. Or have a companion like Strong here just bash him in the face with the super sledgehammer. Either way works. Again, the point of this video is not to show the best weapons with the best statistics per se. It's about showing the best legendary affixes. Those bonus statistics on the weapons that carry through the entirety of the game. They don't really diminish in their value. If your opponent's level increases or your level increases, it does not matter. In fact, as their level increases and your level increases, these affixes simply gain in value and become more useful and effective during the duration of the game. With the same pistol as I was showing you before, here I'm maiming a Deathclaw. Simply shot at his legs a few times. Now he can't move. And this was the kind of the first time I realized how useful this weapon was. And so I'm like going crazy shooting at his legs, but then I realized he can't even hurt me, no matter how close I am. He does not attack. So hopefully this video gets you excited about the types of legendary weapons out there that you can collect and then use, because there's some really nicely designed ones out there, and I think some of the best ones are contained in this video. But that's enough from me. What do you guys think about these weapons? Do you have any weapons that are powerful that you want to share about as well? Let me know in the comments below. And another question, what kind of look do you think Preston's given me here as he walks away? <laughs>